Now let's turn to David Trim for a look at Adventist history. Many of our viewers may remember reading Guide magazine as teenagers. This week we find out how the magazine began. Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. On April 9 in 1952, the spring meeting of the General Conference Executive Committee voted that a journal be provided for junior youth ages 10 to 15. Eventually, in October 1953, that journal was first published, what we know today as Guide magazine. On April 10 in 1944, at that year's spring meeting of the GC Executive, this time in Chicago, Denominational leaders met with leaders of African-American Adventists from across the United States. It was a crucial meeting in Seventh-day Adventist history. The meeting, chaired by GC President J.L. McElhaney, ended by empowering union committees in the United States to create new conferences on ethnic lines. The vote was, when the colored constituency is considered to be sufficiently large and where the financial income and territory warrant. These conferences were to be called regional conferences and were to be administered by black officers and committees. On April 13 in 1909, Lulu Whiteman became the first Seventh-day Adventist minister to address the legislature of the American state of Missouri. Whiteman was a woman and so of course had not been ordained, but she held a ministerial license, she worked as a pastor and she was a powerful speaker. She addressed the state legislators on religious liberty, and according to a contemporary newspaper report, every one of those legislators stayed in his seat and attentively listened to her. That was this week in Adventist history.